women do not date out of their race enough and god please release my sisters from the shackle of only dating black men i feel like it's time for us to explore our options it's way more of life to see way more experience to have experiences to have Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as per the title guys, you can see in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of the world most involved father according to them. So I was just on TikTok scrolling and I came across one of my favorite content creator, which is none other than Shonda, where she basically was talking about how a deadbeat male decided that he wanted to come out here and humiliate the mother of his son. In my opinion, this is simply because these male don't really really understand all the changes that women have to deal with once they decide that they want to become a parent. And instead of this male going out here, giving her a helping hand, he wanted to bring their dirty laundry to internet because like I said, unfortunately it seemed like these male get off on the notion of them attempting to humiliate black women. And unfortunately black women, I like to tell y'all, I can't really not make y'all be accountable for this because unfortunately these Ismail has been very good at showing us, at telling us exactly who they are. But black women, for some reason, they just refuse to listen when these male tell them. In my opinion, there's no way that black women in 2024 should give these male any type of access to them, let alone go out here and procreate with them. Nonetheless, guys, check out this video with this deadbeat male where he's trying to humble, humiliate, just so disgusting, the mother of his child. And I also want you guys to listen to Shonda's response and then we will come back with more. Baby this mama can't handle one like, child. It's pathetic. She real life, real life don't want to do no more her life. Like she don't want to take care of her responsibilities, man. We not even together. Like I just said, y'all, like... I don't know what's wrong with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I told her, that's fine. You can stay here for a few days while I go make my money. You know, I'm a busy man. You know what I'm saying? I even gave her $500, $500, thousands, like every week, every week. You know what I'm saying? And she did nothing with the money but, but blow it and look cute on Instagram, man. So now she's telling me that she's going to basically go to college and try to throw the, throw the baby on me. Like, she know I got a lot of stuff to do. You don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. So, but so, so where, so where the money that I gave you? Where, where the thousand dollars that I gave you last week? You took it from me because you got mad at me. I took it from you. Yes. Yeah, see, she's a narcissist. This is why she's leaving. Anything this is you why. Need to be taken away from you. This is why she's she's going. Whatever she's going, I'm telling you that he's going with you. No, no, this is your not, child. No, this so you both made this baby, but only one of you is expected to sacrifice her life to raise that child. You make this video trying to shame this woman because she's going through mental and physical and emotional distress after having this child, which it could be postpartum. You have no idea. Then you talk about, I gave her $500. $500 to somebody with a child is nothing. Have you, have you checked the price of formula, of diapers, pediatrician's visits, all of that? How much bigger her apartment has to be? Like every, the person who has the child full time takes on all of the burden. That's all of the cost. The food bill, electricity, every single bit of it is more expensive to the one who has the child. And for the men who always act like, I'm giving you child support. Well, if, you, if it's so easy, then why don't you take the child and let her pay you child support? Talking about she was going to go off to college and you making money. So why she got to put her dreams on hold, but you can't? Y'all both laid down to have this baby. The issue comes in where some men act like women are the only ones who are expected to put their life on hold to raise a child, a child that you both made. You trying to make her sound like she's a bad mom because she's going through something and doesn't want to have the baby right now, but you ain't volunteering to keep your own baby? Some men impregnate women to derail their future. That girl probably always had the plan to go to college. And you maybe you didn't want her to go. So you tried to make sure that she had your baby. So now she's stuck in this hometown. Now she can't go to school. But you still can make your money. Men swear that if they pay a woman child support and she happens to look good online, that it has to be the child support money that she's using. 
He's acting like she took that $500 and now all of a sudden she's on Instagram dripping in Chanel. But $500, a random one-off payment of $500, she's not doing all of that, sir. Her whole entire life has changed. You, you got, And here you are acting like, isn't that big of a deal? I don't understand why she can't do it. Why can't you? If it's so easy, why can't you do it? She's just as distressed about it as you are. So how are you thinking that you're better than her? Healthy co-parenting is not pulling out your camera to record your baby's mother when she's literally down. Literally down on the ground at her lowest. This is when you say, tag me in. At the end of the video, he goes on to say that she doesn't have a job right now. So why are you going to send your child to go live with somebody who has no financial means of being able to take care of that child? And then with the next breath, you brag about how much money you got. So if you're balling like that, then why can't you take care of your son? It's like the child could benefit from both parents. Maybe you take the child now, maybe she takes the child later, but that's what parents do. Why can't y'all work together to work this out? But rather than being a grown-up and trying to work it out with her offline, you bring all of your dirty laundry online thinking that you can embarrass her and shame her. I'm talking about you a busy man. What's more important than the health and well-being of your son? Forget how you feel about her. You got to do what's best for the child. But you know, I get it. You got to make that shmoney. So you guys just saw that very disturbing video and I think it is very ironic that these males think that $500 is something. Isn't that crazy? Considering the inflation that we're living in globally, these males feel like they can just throw $200, $500 and they be feeling like that is the end all be all. This male basically wanted to come on here, wanted us, unfortunately, the internet to drag this woman for filth because like I said, these males seem to get a king off the whole notion of them continuously coming out here embarrassing black woman this male instead of him saying well this woman she's not okay because i'm a responsible father because according to these least producing male they like to be saying that the cdc say us the kings we're the most involved father i mean we already know that that is ludicrous because if you guys just look around the black community y'all will see that it is not true regardless of what these treasonous male continue to spew out here. This male had the audacity to come out here, not only record this woman, but basically complain about the mother of his child throwing the baby on him. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, but I think based upon this woman's behavior, based upon her body language, I'm gonna assume that this woman is probably experiencing some type of postpartum depression. But like I said, instead of this male coming out here saying that I'm gonna be a responsible father to my kid and I'm gonna make sure that the mother of my child get the professional help that she need. But unfortunately, because these males have no interest whatsoever in your well-being as a black woman, instead of him giving her a helping hand, he decided to record her literally wanting the world to come on here and drag her because like I mentioned these male feel like you as a woman you have to literally put your entire life on hold because y'all heard him talking about oh she's just throwing the baby on me I have a lot of stuff to do excuse me so she doesn't have a lot of stuff to do how come men are able to get away with this literally every single day but woman can I have seen situation where 99% of the time it is these deadbeat male that continue continuously walk out not only on their kids but also on the woman that decided that they unfortunately were gonna give them a legacy ladies this is why it is imperative for y'all to stick to your guns and not let society convince you that your only purpose on this planet is to be a rabbit and procreate with these least desiring male because in my opinion naturally I don't know these people it shows you here in this video that this male don't even like this woman because I truly feel like if he did he wouldn't come out here record her put it on the internet wanting people to drag her unfortunately male you decided that you wanted to lay down just like Shonda said you wanted to lay down with this woman not using any type of protection did you not know what the potential causes of that can be ladies I also need y'all to know that your body is a temple you need to start treating it as such that being said I also have a few questions that I want to pose do you think that she's married to this male do you think she wanted a child 
why can't she go to college like this male is talking about as if it's an issue because we already know these male they don't believe in education right they don't believe in you going out here becoming the better version of yourself and that is simply because they don't want to do it and they also don't feel like you as a black woman you should go out here this is why continuously i'm going to tell y'all ladies y'all need to guard your womb with your heart and your soul Stop giving the least producing males of society legacies when they haven't really earned it. Because in my opinion, like I mentioned previously, naturally, I don't really know this couple, but I can almost assure you guys that this male, instead of him going out here, doing what he need to do, it truly seems like what these males fail to understand is that if the mother of your child is mentally in a stable position, financially in a good position, do you not know that automatically that your kid is also going to be taken care of? These males feel like they continuously have to come out here that 1% of time that they do decide that they want to be in these kids' life. They feel like they can just come out here and said oh i'm the one that taking care of my baby y'all know that they want an oscar for that they want an emmy and i'm like meal what exactly are you expecting us to do you decided that you wanted to lay down with this woman unprotected this is the result why do you expect us to come out here and applaud you for simply doing your job and ladies this is why i continue to talk about y'all need to stop accepting the bare minimum from these male because why does this one percent of time when these male are out here regardless of them coming out here saying well the cdc say that us as the kings of society were the most involved father again we already know that that is bullshit just look around the black community and you will see the amount of broken homes that these least producing males of society continues to create. Ladies, y'all does not get off the hook. We already know that these males, they can run their filthy mouth all they like. But as long as y'all continue to give them access to your womb without any true commitment, unfortunately, these males are going to continue to embarrass y'all the way that they continue to do. Because like I said, I don't know this lady, but I can assure you that this lady needs to be taken care of because someone who's in this state... I truly don't feel like the kid are going to be safe around them. So this male is coming out here talking about $500 as if it's $500 million. Like, sir, $500. Just like Shonda say, does this male not know the cost of diaper? Does this male not know the cost of formula? Does this male not know the cost of literally just living overall? Obviously, we know that he does not know because whenever these males come out here and they're throwing these breadcrumbs at this woman, they want you to be out here, be ecstatic about it. The only reason why they have this type of behavior is because they feel like you don't deserve anything. And naturally, we have seen these males continuously come out here and talk about the fact that they only love the kid to the extent that they love the woman. And because we know that for the most part, these males don't even like themselves, therefore they can't love you as a woman, let alone the child. And ladies, this is why I continue to say, Y'all need to start risking your life by giving these on the sorry male legacies that they haven't really earned. Guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole very unfortunate situation, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this dusty male coming out here trying to humiliate this woman because like I said, these male have this kink for them consistently coming out here trying to humble you, trying to embarrass you, but black women for whatever reason continue to give them access to their womb without any type of real commitment. Black woman, stop giving these male access to your womb without them first giving you a ring, without them making you their wife. Stop giving these male access to you if they're not going to make sure that not only this child, but you yourself is going to be stable financially. Stop giving these male access to your womb if they haven't really earned it. Stop giving these male access to y'all because naturally, these males don't respect y'all because once again, had this male respected this woman, he was going to make sure that she got the help that she needed. But instead, what he do, he run to his dusty tactic which they tend to do whenever they feel like they're losing in a situation because like I said these male one thing that they hate more than their kids are the black women that continue to give them these kids that they don't really want nonetheless guys 
I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this very unfortunate situation. Whatever your thoughts and opinion are, please get in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Black women, it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed. We have lied and gassed black men up for centuries, letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms, letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked. And now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions. Instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves, but the community that they help create, we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it. <laughs>